Okay, now let us understand what is this Power BI desktop query editor. So this is really, really very much useful because when you are bringing your data, then we need to format it. So we will see how this query editor will be helpful. So we'll first go through this and then later we will do some more examples on that, how we can do various stuff for using that query editor. So for that, what I will do is I will open my Power BI desktop. So then what we will do is we'll connect to a data source. Probably this time also we will take on the same Excel, whichever we took in the last time. And in that we will uh, see, uh, we'll go through first of all, how we can open this query editor. Those things we will check it. So I will just close it here. So what I'll do here is I will, now we will uh, load the data. So if you'll see here, uh, this is a transform data is there. So by default, when you will open a Power BI desktop, we are not loading any data source here. So if you'll click on transform data, you will see a blank stuff here because we don't have anything loaded and we are not doing anything on this. So we basically we have a blank uh, stuff there. Now here we have the option. If you'll see various tabs over here, for example, the home tab where actually we can uh, uh, see uh, how we can get to the data source. So few common elements will be there here. So one one of the main thing that we do here is uh, we connect to various data sources. As I said, you can click here and then you can connect. You will see a lot of uh, buttons are uh, disabled now because we don't have anything over here. Uh, you can see here the enter data where you can create a table. Uh, so if you will just click on that, you can see here you can create a table. Later we will see how you can create a table. So this is the um, uh, this is the tab where you can see you can select the columns you can remove columns you can see which columns you want to keep which columns you want to remove group by so these are common tasks that you can do it uh, here then the transform tab so if you will see here this tab where you can uh, get uh, some of the things like adding or removing columns you can change you, you, you can change the data type so these things you can do here you can split the columns so this kind of things you will be able to do it here similarly this add column where you can uh, 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 pro, you can add a column you can format the column column data uh, you can add custom columns as well so these things you will be do you can do it here so similarly there are you can see there is view tab uh, view tab is there tools is there and there's a help icon over here is there now if you will in this case we saw we don't have data so um, uh, you can directly click on transform and data and then you can come come here um, if you will actually uh, let's say we don't uh, we will upload a data here or we will get data from a, a data source so i'll click on excel and then if you'll see here i will take this products one and uh, in this if you'll see um, i will select this and you can see two options are here if you'll scroll down down you can see one thing is you can load data and then other one is transform data in the last video we saw how we can do the load data and we can see uh, data over there now i will click on transform data and in this case if you'll see here this is opening the power query editor so the same editor which we were talking about we are opening opening the same one now i will just quickly close it so whatever is is there i just close it uh, so once you close it you will see here uh, uh, then the data will be refreshed and if i will go to this table uh, on this data tab then i will be able to see this one now uh, if you, if you are in the visualization tab or or your report tab in our case so you can click here and then you you can go to the transform data the other way you can do here is if you'll go here uh, in in this one and then you can see here edit query is there so if you'll click on that it will open also open the power query editor so ultimately this is the query editor that we have now this one we we talk uh, talked about this buttons and you can see here now some of the buttons are enabled for example this column is selected here it is showing the data type i can go here i can change it but let 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 us understand this interface so if you'll see here this one is uh, the left side one is the query uh, uh, editor so you can see actually the queries the number of active queries uh, the name of the query so those things you can see it here in the left pan 
and uh, when we actually select a query then the corresponding data will load here and the properties also for example here I, we have only one uh, uh, thing so if i will just uh, uh, just i'll make a duplicate one you can see here two things are came and we have two queries now so the first one i'll select you can see here the data is populating if you have multiple tables you can see here multiple data the other data selected data source will populate so this is your left pen so you can select the particular query which you want to uh, work with the center one is the data pen so this is the data pen where actually uh, you can see based on the query so whatever the query you have uh, you have created uh, based on that query you can see the data here similarly uh, the right side one is a query settings tab so here you will be able to see a couple of things one thing is the name uh, you can see all the properties you will be able to see the second one is actually the modifications that you are doing or something that you will do here that thing you can uh, check it here so and you can also for example you can see here it is saying promoted headers so you can actually rename and you can give a meaningful name over there okay so you, you will be able to see uh, these things over here now for example i will go to this particular uh, 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 seat one and you can see here then if you if i'll rename then i can actually uh, rename the query also so i will say products now i'll just click on enter you can see here now this uh, query is product you can see here the name got changed if you'll go to all properties you can see here this uh, uh, if you want to enable the uh, um, enable the load to the report or include uh, report refresh or not you can select these options um, now the other one is uh, if i will just go here and i will let's say uh, this quantity is already whole number price is whole number customer name is whole number uh, let me uh, add a new column here so i'll right click here you can see here um, you can uh, um, you can remove a column or you can add a column from here uh, but if you want to create a brand new new column and you want to uh, have some formula on that then you can click on add column and you can click on custom column so when you click on custom column you can see here and you will be able to write the log, uh, logic here so for example here i will give the column name as total price and it is saying uh, what is the formula that you want to uh, do it here for example in this case i want to uh, take the price and then i will say uh, multiplication and then i will take the quantity so you can see here i enter it now you can see here it is showing no syntax error is there so you can if you want to check out the formula quickly you can click on that it will open the msdn link you can have a look at that also but let's say i will click on okay so the moment i will click on okay you can see here now there is a, a total price column got added now the same time if you will see the applied steps it is showing me that added a custom column so instead of that i can just rename it i will say added a uh, total price column for example i will go here i will say added total price column and if you'll see here now you will be able to actually know this step what you have done so this is very much helpful so this way you can uh, so you can go through this uh, uh, power query editor so in the next example we will see some some of the things that we will do here we'll use some of the formulas we will see uh, some of the options we will use and we will see how we, the data is reflecting on the query editor so the timing being i can go to home and then i'll say close and apply and uh, it will actually close and uh, the query editor will be closed and if you will go to the data tab you can see here total price is there here